So I chose media because I was looking for a third subject to do because I already had my two picked out and I looked around the college on the open day to find what looked most interesting to me and media was that. Um, well, I mainly just wanted to try something new and when I looked on the, the college's website, I looked through the course and just found it really interesting, all the things you do, like the magazine making and the music videos and just learning how media works because we consume media on a daily basis, like all sorts of things. So I just thought having an insight in that might be helpful and it was just, I just found it interesting really. So in media, in the first year pretty much is um, going through all different types of media and seeing how there's different representations of everything like in newspapers and music videos and TV shows and then we in the second year we focus on coursework which is doing our own music video and that so it's pretty good to have the first year to see how it's done so we can apply it to ours. So in the theory lessons we go over different theorists or like uh, how the industries work whether that's magazine industry, newspaper, TV, film, uh, video games. Um, and then the other days we, uh, we, we do production in Mac Suites where we make music videos or magazines. Uh, and they're all kind of linked to it because you use the knowledge you get from the theory lessons to help you when you actually make the stuff. You go from a sort of consumer to a producer really. Uh, well, the good thing I found is that if there's ever a day that we're absent, we get sent this shared folder which has all the stuff we've been doing, it has the PowerPoints of the lessons, along with any research or like uh, worksheets that we get given, um, and then what the other sorts of what we get in the actual lesson, we can always ask for help, uh, and there's always services like email and Teams in case there's ever anything we're struggling with. Uh, and not only is there interventions that happen uh, like once uh, once every two weeks that you can go to, uh, if there's ever time where you need more time to do work, like production side, like you need more time to do editing and recording, you can book out the Mac Suite or you can book out a studio. And there's just a lot of really, there's a lot of access to things is the good thing I think about the course. So the support we get is, in, the thing that helped me the most is an intervention that we have practice questions because sometimes it's difficult to write good practice questions every time so um, doing that over and over again really does help. I mean I didn't and I feel very comfortable doing it, I'm, I'm doing quite well so I, I don't think you do need to, no. Uh, and I've had friends who did it at GCSE and, and they've from the experiences that they used to tell me to what it is here, it's way different. It's This is a lot more in depth, but it's also very welcoming at the same time. Like you go through more stuff than you would have at GCSE when nothing's really out there because obviously it's media. People, especially young people, consume it on a daily basis. So anything you see, you'll be able to recognize. Even if it's from years ago, you'll be able to see a trace of that in like our modern day. So I, I think it's very welcoming. I didn't do it at GCSE, I didn't actually know there was an option to do it at GCSE but I don't think that you do necessarily need it to do, do it for A level, I've been doing just fine without having it anyway. Well I'm doing, uh, hopefully doing a media production at BCU um, and I feel like this course has helped me get sort of a, a, a grasp and idea of it seeing as I had no intention of doing that before I came to college. but doing the course has shown me how much I really enjoy it because it's a very good outlet for people who have that creative like spark and, and drive but aren't able to sort of project it onto things like art or drawing or writing. It's, it's a lot, it's a freer sort of area that you can project your creativity and the college helped me find this uh, visual effects camp course that worked with BCU. Um, and by doing that it gave me an experience of doing media production before I even go to uni and possibly might help my chances of getting into it as well. So I thought, yeah, it's a very good experience. I would recommend it if you have the creative spark but you don't really know how to project it. So I want to be an events manager and to be able to advertise it is very important for the success of the events and media to represent the whole event in the uh, media to show it would be good to make it appeal to target audiences like we've been doing in media. To be fair, I think going through all the theories and seeing how we um, how it applies to different media and different people's like opinions on the 
the media is interesting to see. I think the best thing for me is the thing I mentioned about having that ability to project your creativity on so many different like mediums and platforms because I have quite a creative sort of spark but I'm not good at say like art for instance but with media there is no sort of restriction to it because you can just make anything you want and with just a little bit of time and practice anyone can use Photoshop or Premiere all these different like software, you just need time and experience and that's what this college is here for you to do. It, it gives you time and experience and you can book out the studio whenever you need to to practice.